I had somebody hack me the other day, and a random guy wrote me on WhatsApp. Don't know how I got my number. He's like, I have to hack him. What's up, Cyberhawks? So in today's video, we're going to be going over hackers, or I guess hacking. And I didn't want to go like too maybe in depth on this particular video, but we'll be looking at a few videos kind of going over hackers, hacking, and you kind of see some of the maybe like the history of this um, as well as how damaging hacking can actually be or how quick you can actually do it. So let's go ahead and start out with this first TikTok here. And uh, yeah, let's see. Do you guys remember seeing these guys? Let's talk about the hacker group Anonymous and what happened to them. It was in 2008 during the beginning stages of the internet when they shot to fame for their criticism of Tom Cruise and Scientology. And since then, the group has been involved in political activism all around the world. They fought government corruption, took down huge amounts of child prawn, and even battled against the biggest gangs and terrorist organizations around the world. They were like actual online heroes, unlike some of y'all arguing in the comments. But anyways, obviously since they're anonymous, we don't know much about their background, but the question remains, where are they now? So it seems like they're still being busy as they've been linked to hacking Russian websites and servers ever since the invasion of Ukraine. Apparently they brought down the Russian version of YouTube, mm. hacked state outlets, and even Putin's yacht. Their yeah. hacktivism remains controversial. But I want to ask you, are they good or are they for evil? Let me know in the comments. Interesting, interesting. So first off, let's talk about a lot. I did not know that Russia had their own YouTube called Ru. I think it was called RuTube. So, uh, yeah, definitely intrigued there. Another thing is I completely forgot about Anonymous. That is crazy. I remember hearing about them. I feel like in the news for some years and then kind of just went radio silent. And he explained that I guess they were still out here, still active, but mainly dealing with the, you know, Russia, Ukraine uh, war. So interesting there. Hopefully we'll see some more info with them, maybe here in the States or you know other countries outside of that <laughs> definitely intrigued to see you know what type of stuff they'll be getting into i love the mask um i love that movie where that mask um came from too that you know made it more popularized um you know everywhere but uh yeah yeah a uh, little i guess some little fun facts about the world famous hackers anonymous that that group um, if you are an anonymous member and you're watching this video, uh, just let me know uh, what you guys are up to in the comments. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm not working for no government. So I'm, I'm not gonna say nothing. But hey, if you want to just you know fill us in, you know, kind of what you guys are doing right now, that would be great. But yeah, hopefully we do hear some more news um, from anonymous, or maybe not, because I feel like maybe during that time period too, I was hearing a whole lot about them. There was a whole lot of turmoil, turmoil and other stuff going on like over here. So maybe that's actually good if we're not hearing about them. I'm not exactly for sure. Also, too, I'm definitely intrigued and I might have to do another video on this. But like, I wonder how many of, of people who are part of Anonymous were like captured by like groups and stuff. And, um, you know, like what happened to them on that. So, yeah, definitely intrigued there. Uh, let's go ahead and bring up the next one from my man, Ryan Montgomery. And uh, he's going to tell you about how a hacker can access your house with no trace. So let's go ahead and uh, play that and let's put that up higher. This is how a hacker can get into your house and leave no trace and disable all security systems in the process. Nice. Check this out. With the flipper, I capture his garage door as he's leaving his driveway. See? Okay, so now that we have the garage door code captured and we're uh, disabling the cameras with another flipper, I'm not going to teach you guys how to do that. Um, now we're going to go and open the garage. And this is a rolling code, by the way, which means, you know, it'll work on modern garage doors. Okay. And, um, okay. The cameras, you know, not detecting that I'm here. No notification will show up on this phone. Oh, wow. Open the door. And now that the door is open, I can get in here. Still, like I said, no notification. And wow. I'll close it. And so the cameras are completely disabled right now. It's just loading endlessly, and there'll be no history that I ever was here. Oh, wow. To resolve this issue, make sure you're aware of your surroundings. And as for the cameras being disabled, um, I don't have a great answer for you other than cameras with local storage or going old school and using wired cameras, because in this case, they depend solely on Wi-Fi. Stay safe. Oh, wow. To resolve this issue. Wow. Wow. Okay. So first up, I was not expecting that ending. It was like, yeah, basically for the cameras, if you're not or using like a CCT, cctv something like closed circuit and not just on wi-fi 
yeah you're gonna be kind of screwed on this and uh yeah i i, I, I like that one a lot because it shows like how dangerous you can be with hacking like with that one tool um let me bring that back up what tool is this We'll trace and disable all security systems in the process check this out with the flipper i capture the flipper okay so he was in the flipper yeah i've been meaning to actually get a flipper just so i can like play around with it if i do i will definitely make some videos with you guys um if any of you have used the flipper in the past let me know too in the comments how it worked and did you enjoy it or whatnot but i will definitely be uh, making some videos with that maybe trying to like hack my parents i'll like we'll let them know and then have them maybe change the wi-fi or something and i'll try to you know see if i can get in or whatnot you know like i'm pretty sure i'll find some some, some fun stuff to do with it for sure and i can document and make the videos for you guys there but yeah just the power of that is crazy being able to not get detected by again the cameras and also opening up the garage it being up to date on that kind of reminded me of like what the kia boys i think they were called they were like jack and kias i think and they were able to get in the car within like within the what, what three three to five minutes or something again probably using maybe something similar to this um accessing the car and like you know having full rights of that but yeah yeah kind of just showing you how um the world is definitely changing becoming more and more cyber focused so having good security is going to be even more paramount the further we get into this technology technological um you know years the te technological world etc that we're currently in and that we will continually progress in so i like that one a lot show that you can do a lot with just a little you can do a lot with just a little so let's go ahead and play the last one real quick and uh see what this one's about this is make sure we got the screen looking good old hack the fbi then created a hacking group that became a 16 year old hack the fbi then created a hacking group that became a billion dollar company lolsack short for lol security was a hacker group that used memes lol security or oh, lolsack that's funny to troll billion dollar corporations like Sony. They hacked the CIA, national banks, and Fox News. They were so good, they rivaled Anonymous. And they were the reason you couldn't use your PS3 on April 19th, 2011. That isn't- Oh, wow. Wow. At first I was liking these guys, but I don't like them no more. But then again, he said 2011. So I guess I really wasn't on the PlayStation during that time period. Okay. But if that would have happened, <laughs> they were doing all that hacking on the PlayStation like a year or two ago. I mean, I might be thinking it got differently, but okay, it was 2011. I wasn't really on there. I think I was like, what? Until so, the cool. London police came knocking at the leader's door oh. to find out he was 16 year old Mustafa Al Faisan. He had 82 criminal charges for cyber warfare and was wanted by the US government. But luckily, he only got 500 hours of community service yeah. and no access to the internet for two years. Mustafa then went on to found the unicorn startup Celestia, focusing on modular blockchain. Oh, wow, wow, wow dollar company wow wow so let me a billion uh, dollar corp yeah right that'd be good <laughs> but yeah he ended up doing a lot yeah i'm glad that he didn't have the rot in jail only two years of no internet actually that's a lot that's a lot that's a lot two years of no internet and the fact that he had two years with no internet it still came out creating uh what like his, like a whole another company out like right after that that's that's crazy. That's crazy. That's just bravo to that guy. Bravo to that guy. I still a little suspect on him with the PlayStation <laughs> being down. But that's cool. I like never heard of this, him or this group. I like how they got their name, though. Uh, I like the trolling aspect of that. But yeah, that's my first time actually hearing them. Some of you guys probably have heard of them, but I definitely haven't. I don't think the mainstream has. But he said it rivaled Anonymous. So hey, hey, bravo to that, too. Um, 500 community hours. I guess that is a lot but not really compared to like spending what years in prison so yeah he ends up looking out on that and uh hopefully living his best life now maybe again i may have to go like further into some of these cybersecurity or hackers or whatnot maybe seeing what they're doing today i'm definitely intrigued to see what he's doing right now at this point in time again i don't know when this TikTok was created but i'm definitely intrigued to see if i can like find him like on instagram or maybe he has his own youtube channel now kind of just talking about him you know himself maybe he has 
interviews. I'm like, I'm like, I've never heard this guy in my life, but I'm definitely just like super intrigued now. Um, even more so, but hopefully some of these videos kind of just show you the um, history and maybe some of these hacking groups and also what you can damage, um, you know, with small tools and maybe more tools. Um, overall, this kind of just got me even more excited, you know, with uh, not only cybersecurity, but maybe like the hacking aspect, the red team side of cyber. And hopefully uh, this kind of can pique your interest as well. You know, having a good offense is having a good defense but also having a good defense is also knowing about the offense so you know this is, is what it is if you are used to just defending with shields you know medieval shields and you're not progressing and then somebody has like a gun and you know like you're if you're not i'm trying to say, <laughs> I'm trying to say this and trying to make it sound right but like if you only have your defense on that medieval shield and you're doing good against swords, but you're not paying attention to the progressiveness of the attacks when the gun hits you and you're still using that metal shield and it, you know, it's just shooting right past you, you know, you're at a loss. So I think I said that right. But anyway, guys, if you haven't already, uh, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.